just got an oil patch. <laughs> What's well, your artery? This cost is gonna leak. What about? So I was just saying when I walked in, I've hit a honey pot. Uh, nice to meet you, Bruce. Hi. It's a it's a pleasure. So that's that's what it was. You better be coming to Chrome Real Puna in March, mate. No, I'm first, first weekend of March, come there. So I'm already from shitting myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. Going on. Yeah. yeah. So I've just arrived and apparently there's roaders in there, so let's go and check them out. Here he is. I'm sure there's lots of nice cars here, I just care about the roaders. What's your name anyway, uh, bro? Caleb. Caleb, Ashley, Caleb. Sure, it's good to meet Thanks for showing us down, bro. What's the best car in here? Oh, probably the Series 2. <laughs> the whole collection. What about, um, what's the most expensive car here? Don't know? No idea. What's the rarest car here? Probably the road pacer. No shit out Maybe. of all these cars. Know, I'm seeing a lot of money here. Yeah, it's all owned by two people. DeLorean's got to be worth some coin. <laughs> so a workshop servicing all the cars. Any rotors here at all? Yes, yeah, two. Oh, but rotary engines at all? Oh, and the cars. That's it? Yeah. That's a little bit disappointing. Yeah. Out of all these cars, where's the rotary love? That is the RC one. Oh, yeah, It's the road pacer that I'm after. That corner put up. The, it's probably in the furthest spot possible from the entryway. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's, worth, it's worth the walk. Here it is. There's the old banger. Are you allowed to get in it? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. And this, oh, this has got the, well, this is the second one I've seen and both of them don't really look like they're being used much. Leaking any oil at all? It is. <laughs> it's got an oil patch. <laughs> What's well, a rotary? This cost is going to leak. What about, what? just to put that in perspective, let's see the old Valiant. Yeah, that's leaking oil too. <laughs> let's make a video about how many cars in this place are leaking from oil. <laughs> oh, the Ford's got to leak oil. Yeah, she's leaking oil. The V-Dub, that'd be leaking oil. What about, what about a Ferrari? Oh, the RS won't because there's all freaking plastic underneath the thing, so Absolutely. it can't. Oh, this, this will be leaking oil for sure. Mm. Yeah, it's leaking oil. Yeah. There you go. What about a Mustang Ford? Yeah, that's leaking oil. It's a Ford, of course it's gonna leak oil. What about these old things? Do you reckon they'd be runners? Yeah, right. oh, that's leaking oil from everywhere. Everything runs in here. That thing's, from the oil coming out of all sorts of places, that one. Let's go in uh, the next section and see how many cars are leaking all there. Where are we at again? Nelson Classic Car Museum. How many of these cars? Well, they must all run, eh? They must be all runners because they, yeah, they all run. if they got a workshop for that, they just leak oil, that's all. Yeah, no, they swap them out in the main place, pretty sure. That's a cool car. DeLorean. Where are the engines in these things, front or back? No, that's not leaking oil. That won't be leaking oil. That's surely going to be leaking. Yeah, I oh, hope you enjoyed my video on wherever we are and all the cars here leak. <laughs> Except the Ferraris. And there's no GTR 35s or 32s here. How can you not have a 32 at least a minimum? You anyway, know, thanks guys for watching. Hope it was entertaining. The fucking, look at the fucking drip trays here. She's oil everywhere. Here, more drip trays. Could be the leaking. Oh, they're off. The boys are off. They're hitting it. Oh, well. I'll follow you. Do you know where they're going? Yeah. This is giving me goosebumps, yeah. brother. So, this car, show me the pic um, with you know, the massive fat Gilma Drive you want belt me to on get it. Out in the sun. Yeah, so that's this it this is the one. That's it there. We're just talking about, talking about all these cars and everything. Yeah. So there's, there's not many things left on the car that would pick that this is that car. What uh, did that Gilmer, did it bend the e-shaft like? Uh, yes, because when we just rebuilt this motor, um, the e-shaft was slightly out of spec. So what's left from that build um, that most people would recognize, the oil catch flow overflow, so the German army helmets, that is probably one of the only things that's actually left from that original setup. I cannot believe it. This yeah. is actually probably giving me goosebumps, mm. hey? So that's what it was. Show yeah. me the belt drive in it. Yeah, I don't oh, you've oh. still got, you've still got. So it's still the same setup, it's just not, not as big. Yeah, huh. we, we just rebuilt it. So I don't know the full history of the car, 
Um, I just obviously once purchased it, then obviously found out a wee bit of a history about the car and seen some photos. And when I got it, the tag had been taken off down the side, but you could still see the outlay from it. Uh -huh. And then I started doing a bit of looking and it had, it had the Lenzo wheels and everything on it. And then started doing a bit of look. And then a local guy here, uh, who's an ex Rotor Royal boy, uh, Matt Donaldson, he knew the car very well. And the guy who originally built it, mad props to him because the engineering on a lot of things is just top notch and it's still proves it today. This is one of the world's famous RX2. Yeah, Zebby King Turner, local guy here from Rotate Engineering. Um, just, just built the PP for it. Um, so yeah, it's quite quite different because it's so sunken in and pushed back, which then obviously allows the oil cooler to sit in there. And then we've just rejigged all the um, water pump set up. <laughs> Holy um, so yeah, so it's fresh build. It's only been, I think I've only clocked up 80 Ks on it so far. I've only got finished basically two days before four and rotors in Timaru. Now that yeah. oil cooler is a pretty unique setup with fans on it. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. I, I do a similar thing with my cars. I put fans on there and a, and a shroud and that. Yep. Do you find uh, temps are pretty good? Yeah, percent? pretty good. Um, yeah, very, very um, stable between the water temp and the uh, oil temp. And yeah, full stainless exhaust. It's got QA1 coilover adjusties all around. Um, FC, FD, um, brake package, um, Supra um, gearbox, Hilux LSD. Uh, in it, so it's, it's had everything, everything done to it. So I've, this is one of my like. I didn't, I didn't realize you were that uh, hard out for it. Really? Uh, I, I, I didn't recognize the car. rocked up to see the Alteza of the 20B and um, yeah the guys locked the doors up so we can't see that 
So sure? we might go and check the, the, the gates or he's, he's just on the blower now. Because we kind of got to see it now, so. For example, we cap the ends off to make it so it actually looks, that's how it's meant to be. And I like the functionality of obviously that being like that. Three it's weeks, pretty mint. Three weeks total and, and the whole lot. So they've re, re, re um, done the whole bottom of the front edge where they go and they crack along there. So he's redone all that. Um, the rear quarters had work. It, all the doors had damage to it. Um, I mean, it's not imperfect, but for what I do with it and what I wanted. Um, so yeah, so Zibby's, yeah, built the motor. Um, when you look at these cars, you, you're looking for flaws. It's yeah. the it's the five percent. Yeah, absolutely. At this sort of level, and, so and there are, there's it's, flaws, and I can point them all out. Like as I say, it's not perfect, but um, you know, like we went, like Zibby went as far, and we smoothed all this off and got rid of all the alternator mounts and crap like that, the water pump stuff, to make it so it looks small and smooth. Um, got the powder out from America and powder coated candy apple red. Even the the runners. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's oh, yeah, true. That's powder coated, powder yeah. coated chrome. You said the igniters are in on the kick panel and they've been removed off the side of the distributor. Um, so he, he's done all the wiring and work on that. That's <laughs> fucking that's me. Great. And it's then a... built the motor. Um, yeah. But I was just saying when I walked in, I've hit a honey pot. Is it a honey pot or a honey hole? What's the saying? Oh, fuck. Yeah, honey hole. Do you want to say Honey that? hole. It's like fucking <laughs> rotors everywhere. We've got this. This is the 20B that's going. It's an Alteza, yeah? Yeah, so very well known car. Um, Kim Young. Um, built it 10 years ago. Um, number plate accused, which everyone knows for. So if you YouTube or Google fucking accused, there's plenty of skip vids on this thing. <laughs> yeah, when I purchased it, I obviously got hold of Zebi and said, hey, I bought this, we wanna do a few things. And one thing led to another. We started on full status exhaust and then took it to Chrome in Christchurch earlier this year. Blew the side out of the turbo, as you can aka see the chassis rails quite well fucking burnt up down there. Um, and then decided, Let's let's go, man. How many how many people out there are watching the same thing happens to? Hey, like you drop it in. Oh, I'm just going to upgrade the turbo, and then it results in we're even talking billet now. <laughs> like you know, yeah, I so think yeah. everyone's in the same boat. So right? yeah, so I literally then Kerry brought it to me. It was um, lots of stuff was just it was just Microtech, you know, just all your standard basic build. sort of stuff basic to get stuff, it going. Yeah, okay. Power, does the job. I I was just I'm I'm big on on control strategies and especially safety. You spend all this money, so I said I was and I love electronics. So I was like, okay, let's let's do the that package. And Kerry was like, nah, I don't, I don't think I want to. And then when I started talking about the price of failure, that's when it turned into Zippy planted that, seed. And yeah, and I just left it with him, and I said, hey, these are your options. We can do it a multitude of different ways. And he said, oh fuck it, they just just get what I need. And I was like, okay, sweet, cool. Um, so this is going to have every sensor in it, hey? You're going to have yeah. Yeah, EGTs. Yeah, you, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 uh, yeah. not EGTs this time around, uh, but it's got full motorsport um, loom in the construction for it. And that's a turbo, so a new turbo? Yeah. I'm yep. guessing, yeah, it looks yep. brand yeah. new. Yeah, 245, 1500. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And that was, it's a bigger than what we need for now, but it's mainly because of what Kerry wants to achieve. Now, what, what sort of fuel are you boys oh, looking at that rail? You're not going to be running methanol or anything? No, no. Okay. no we can't. It, we struggle to even get ethanol unless you're buying it by the drum. Okay. So you're going to run it on pump then? At the moment, it'll be pump. Yeah. yeah. And what inlet are you going to run? Oh, you're going to, uh, you've already said, yeah, you're going to yeah, run a factory. factory um, yeah, factory. Actually, a bit of Aussie bloody. That's a packed drive by wire um, conversion. Um, are you going to hone it out, bore it out, or anything, modify it at all? For, don't for really the upper? It? Yeah. No. Okay. No, well, not at this stage just run it as is yep. um, because of what the power level is. And it, it may all change and see where the limitation is when we start really. It'll probably make a thousand. I'm guessing you guys are going to go for a thousand. Yeah. yeah. Carry decide well, eventually. Anyone to eventually. Probably not. Not, not, on, this, not yeah. on this. No. So, so, so originally this build was, let's just do a few things. And then now I've pretty much said to Zevi, let's fucking build this by pulling the motor apart and putting the um, sequential behind, whether it be a Hollinger or a TTI or whatever we go with. Mm. But zebi has been given Full open to go everything. So he's building yeah. petitions go hard and out. wiring. And well, we've kind of got prices. They're, they're the and... words that you want to be hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well I, 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 I putting, putting extra wires and extra fuel pumps and fucking the shift cuts and strain gauges and everything yeah. this time around. Yeah, so everything's in there. Everything's in there. So yeah. then we're going to, you know, we've spoken to Zevi obviously when the RX2 was near completion. And to, to build this to where we want to go, by the time I take that money and sell that and put the two together. Oh, I, to I, sell. I, I, Anyone watching? Can we say know. shout out He's numbers? Right. I got <laughs> and how hard are you going to go on the ECU? Like MoTeC, um, uh, you know, it's a healthy CDI. R, it's it's like, a Haltec R3. Um, I just, so the R3 is awesome. Like, uh, 
like a skyline or um, an FD. I just did a finished one on the FD. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Get 20B and you get IGN 1A coils and yeah, it's only got the four output. That was the one thing I couldn't, I, it was, Kerry talk, I told him what I wanted to do. Is that a PDM? No, so oh, it's, it's got four channels okay. of, yeah, which isn't enough. For Have you heard about the new Haltech ECU that's out? I did a review with uh, James the other day. And you can have, you can use your phone as an app. Uh, I don't know. That's just the bigger brother. Yeah, it's, bigger brother. Just, just got, it's a new one that's just, just coming out. Oh, there's the, the LS one. It's released around Christmas. I forgot the name off the top of my head. Oh, and I've been oh, driving in the morning, okay, making excuses. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Essentially, that doesn't have quite enough oomph to run these coils in this configuration. We've got three fuel pumps already, but it's got the provision for four with this one just go all out just get a yeah. fucking well, a, a waterman a, or, or an endly fuel pump yeah. run on methanol we could have gone pdm <laughs> but then the pdm would have been overkill because we're not doing all the body car of the car uh -huh. yeah. so this is a middle ground where we can almost do everything off of that and that lets us run the extras which are extra that aren't in the body loom i'm i i've just got today was all gutting that on the floor and I realised how much I could probably pull out of it. But at that point, where do we stop? And at the moment, we're already way past what this was intended to be. Yeah. So it's to get it back in, this back in the car, get it all up and running. Very cool, cool. very cool little workshop. Yes, um, yes. This is how you guys are doing it on the south of uh, New Zealand. Um, yeah, so Zebby's been doing yeah. this since school days, hasn't he, mate? Yeah. Well, me and Zebby, which is and I'm seeing school. Aeroflow, um, oh, yeah, Aussie, massive, Aussie massive, stuff. Massive. Well, they're just comp. Comprehensive as a one stop shop. I like speed flow stuff, but um, just doesn't. I use Zerofly. Hard up, boys. <laughs> Thanks, Kylie, for showing us in the, uh, the garage. No worries, bro. It's just an our teaser, mate, but it's got the right engine in it. <laughs> <laughs> This shit you couldn't write a script for. I've been wanting to come here for the last, what, 10 years? How long have they been in business? Oh, I'm not too sure. A while. I'm not too sure. Here we are, TTI. Okay guys, I'm here at TTI with uh, Bruce. Uh, nice to meet you, Bruce. Hi. It's a, it's a pleasure. I, I, I wasn't aware of uh, this shop. It was a sheer coincidence that I'm here. Um, so it's like, how can I not uh, go and, and showcase? Yeah, definitely. So what are we looking at here? We're going we're gonna to take one of these gearboxes apart. Um, well, that's a six-speed gearbox, which it's secondhand, but you can see you know, the length of the shafts and the gears, etc., etc. I've got a, a, a gearbox here that I'm just putting an input shaft in. So I've heated the case up, so the input shaft just drops in. Now is that all billet, the casing at all? No, it's we make our own patterns and we have these cast. So th these are all cast from our own patterns, uh -huh. which we made here. Oh really? Yep. And then you CNC from the cast then, yep, yep. up to spec. Oh, so that's hot now. So that, Where does that famous sound come from? Is it from the straight cut gears? Because yeah. I love that sound. I'm a huge fan of yeah, yeah. yeah. And that is that how they're cut or the material that they use that no, it gets? It's the straight cut gear always has that whine sound to it. Uh huh. Can you show me on the gearing? Yep, these are all straight cut. Take the reverse off. That's the reverse. And there, there's first gear. You can see that's a straight cut gear. It's uh -huh. straight, parallel to the axis of the shaft. Now, what sort of horsepower can the six-speed um, handle? Oh, the guys are putting 900 horsepower through them. Without any modifications, no. straight out of the box? Yep. Okay. The V8s are heavier or harder on the equipment than a turbo car. Now, what about, is, is there any variances with the five-speed versus a six in terms of strength or drivability? No, they are exactly the same width gears. You can swap any gear between a five-speed and a six-speed. So if there's a specific ratio you want from a six speed and you want to put it into a five speed. Yep, interchangeable. Can, yep, it's all interchangeable. Yeah. And how hard is it to, to rebuild one of these gearboxes? They, like it seems pretty straightforward. They're really. pretty straightforward, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, bell housings as well for rotaries. And yes, we've got bell housing. We've got adapter plates so that you can use your existing bell housing. But we do make a bell housing for the rotaries as well. Okay. So that, this is wow that's that's a nice bit of kit so that's for 13b yep. and 20b yep yep um what's uh starter motor do you have to use a specific starter the motor late for it? model the late model one here okay so that's a, a cast and then it's been machined yes cool and uh the adapter plate as well bruce 
Do you reckon you've got one of those in stock? So the adapter plate, um, Bruce doesn't have one handy. So at least we've seen the bell housing. Yeah. So that's a start. Cool. Now, how long has this been? This design been around for? Oh, quite a number of years. And does that have the sensor in that one, nope. so that you can? Okay. How does that work? Can you explain somehow? Is how some of them have sensors in them? Either a micro switch or a strain gauge in it, so that you can cut the ignition and change gear. So it, you just load the gear lever, and once it gets to a certain force on the gear lever, it cuts the ignition and it reinstates the ignition again once it's in gear. So it, it uses our potentiometer to pick up when it's in the next gear and uh, switches the ignition back on, on, it reinstates the ignition. So that's our linkage kit, comes with uh, rose joints and rods that go in the tunnel to the gearbox. Because they are reasonably cheap compared to other brands and that's what we try and keep the cost. Yeah. You know, How much are they then, seeing that you've, you've kind of walked me into that yeah, question yeah. like... Well, a six-speed is $16,000 plus whatever accessories you need. If you need an adapter or a bell housing, you know, that's extra. Okay. And, then and the shifter as well on top yep, of that? Yep, okay. Yep. And that's NZ dollars, is it? Yes. And then yep. what, what sort of dollars are we looking at to freight over to, to Australia uh, at the moment? Oh, that's four fifty. New Zealand dollars. And waiting time as well? How long would it take to... At the moment, it's five months. Five is, months? Yep. Hold. So everyone watching, you better put your order in now. Five months, wait, like, wow. Yeah, well, yeah. We, We're trying to improve that, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We will get there. Mm. Yeah, I've yeah. got another guy, a CNC operator, starting next year to operate the new machine which arrives this week. Well, thank you very kindly for your time. Um, yeah, and showing us around. Love your product. Pleasure. Cheers, mate. <laughs>